This is a uh, 250 watt grid tie inverter and it is not working. A bit of smoke was coming out from it when I was turning it on. It did power up but then of course if you have the smoke it's not good. And when I opened the case I saw the cap here, this one here is bulging a little bit. I didn't really see any obvious sign of uh, burn or brown spots and I checked the I checked the uh, DC fuse here and it was good so it was beeping by the way I'm using the troubleshooting instructions from uh, the 300 watt Gritai inverter repair instructions I think they they would work out pretty much the same and um, the next thing I have to check is the AC fuse here this is the AC fuse and then I would have to check all these MOSFETs here and to do that you have to there's uh, some screws here you have to unscrew them so that the MOSFET would come loose and then the whole circuit board would slide out so that's what I'm doing right now I guess when I put these back I would have to put some kind of thermal paste. Uh, this design uses the case as a heat sink. So, like I said, I have to save all the screws. Like I said, I don't see anything burnt. Maybe I caught it in time. Okay, let's see how I can take the circuit board off to check the fuse and the MOSFET. So make sure you remove all the screws on the side and the retaining plates. Otherwise, if you miss one or two screws, if you didn't take them out, you won't be able to slide the circuit board out. A little bit of a struggle. So I have to make sure you line this looks like some kind of plastic. Sort of look like a spacer. You have to put them back with a maybe some thermal grease. Some got stuck on the walls here. Anyway, so this is the fuse that I have to check right away, the AC fuse. I think it's okay. It doesn't look burnt. So it's about here. I'm going to put the meter on it. I think the fuse is good. The MOSFET has three lakes and according to the instructions here Q1 to Q7 are the MOSFET 75 and F75 and your multimeter should read between 0.500 to 0.630 
So the capacitor on the left is the one that I bought to replace one on the right. I don't know if you can see it too clearly, but this one on the right is slightly bulging. And this is quite a bit bigger in diameter anyway. So that's the difference. It just about fits in this slot or in this position here. The negative goes this way. So I'm going to solder it on and see. Soldering the capacitor on can be a pain in the neck because I don't have anything to suck up the solder. But I think I got it through. I think I got it through. Just put a little solder on this side. I hope I'm not wasting my time because of some other component that is bad. So this is this is the new cap. So this is the new cap. Soldered it back on. You just have to snip off the ends and put the case back together. So before I put it all back together, I'm gonna apply some uh, non-silicone thermal compound to the MOSFET. One side is a MOSFET, this side and that side is, is the diodes. The menu suggests that you check the uh, resistors right next to the MOSFET there. If you have continuity, then that one is no good. Of course, it's it should have some resistance and the dials are usually okay so I'm not gonna check them basically to recap what I did was I measure the resistance of the let's hear the resistance between the source and the gate which is the left pin and the right pin and to see if it's within specs, uh, there shouldn't be, there should be resistance. And the repair manual here says 0.5 to 6.630. Mine is higher. I'm not sure if it's the uh, meter I'm using, but all of them measure out the same, so I assume they are okay. And if the circuit is close rather than uh, open then you're gonna have the problem you have to replace that MOSFET um, I don't have any spare MOSFET so I'm not gonna replace any of them because it, it would be quite a coincidence that all of them have the same basically the same resistance okay sliding in all right Putting the last clip in, 
the screw in first and then try to line up the clip with the screw I think it's in. Make it snug. And I think I'm pretty much done. Just double check your work to put the screws back in. This is how it is. Nothing's loose. The case. I got it plugged in. I'm going to switch it on. The sun is not really shining on the solar panel yet so there's not much power started with the red light and uh, it seems to be working I'm not putting a lot of charge in it yet because I want to keep this running for a while to see if it's okay later on when the Sun is shining directly on the solar panel it will run uh, the lights will run a bit faster, but I think it's working. Alright, thanks for watching.